gushing my clothespin is to prime it with gesso. And I'm gonna do one side at a time because obviously I'm going to have to lay them down to dry. And I am gonna try to avoid the metal piece as much as possible. If I get it on there, I'll probably just wipe it off with a rag. Um, I'm priming it first because I want it to absorb the color that I'm going to be using. Gauche Girl Michelle had sh um, shown some really cool little clips. Um, you could even use them as magnets. It's been a long time ago. And they're actually pretty expensive. And making your own is actually very easy. You could even put a magnet all along the back, just the sticky magnet. And it would just be perfect for, you know, uh, notes on the fridge. My kids have, I should take a picture of my fridge. It's like some sort of crazy art gallery. So I'm done priming and I will be back with painting. I'm gonna start off with three different sets of my primed clothespins. And I'm gonna start off with the red because I'm gonna do red, white, and blue with the red, white, and blue color kits. So I'm gonna start off with this Glimmer Mist in Mel's Diner. So here, I'm just gonna give it a nice coat here. Now, this is something a little different I've tried. Add just a little bit of water on top. Kind of creates a cool marbling effect. And I am going to dry this with my heat gun and I'll be right back. Okay, I have finished doing my clothespins, coloring them at least. So um, this was done with the Tattered Angels in Mel Steiner. This is with Clear Snap um, using their electric blue smooch. And I think that that was the brightest color. And I would like to try it with like a red delusions. I think that would probably be perfect, um, but I don't have one. And then I just used um, some, some smooch pearlized top coat and then added some stickles over the top of that for the white. And so now it is time for me to get out my color kits and my punchinella and really get to it. Okay, now I have, I'm starting with my red color kit and um, I cut just a couple strips of punchinella. I just kind of randomly, haphazardly added those to it. So uh, what I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna kind of cut this just a little bit shorter. I do want some of it sticking up off the top. And then I am going to just glue my punchinella down. And because I'm not sure I want uh, you to be able to see, I'm gonna use some Helmar 450. This stuff um, is completely clear when it dries, which I need because I'm really sloppy. So I'm trying to tell which side I have here. I'm just going to smooth it on with my finger if you don't like to touch it. Gloves may be your answer. So I'm going to do that with all three of my red clothespins. And then we will grab something out of the color kit. And I think that will be loads of fun. I'm a girl who, obviously, if you've seen my layering videos, I like to add all kinds of stuff. Just keep on, keep on, and it doesn't satisfy me until that's the case. So I've got my punchinella. It was easier to add it to the clothespin, I have learned, instead of the punchinella. And kind of smooth it out there. And I'm gonna trim this just a touch. I'm gonna dig into my color kit and I'm gonna I'm gonna use one of these tickets I think that'll be cool for the whole 4th of July thing like maybe a 4th of July carnival and I'm gonna do the same thing for each one 
Now say you were making these for magnets on your refrigerator, you know, you could just use some adhesive or one of the adhesive magnets and add it to the back. Um, but because I'm using it for this banner, um, I'm going to put gobs of stuff on here that kind of goes with my 4th of July theme. So I'm going to stick on this ticket. And obviously we don't want them all in the same spot. That would look, I don't know, to me that looks a little cheesy. But I'm not a matchy-matchy girl, so that might be part of the reason why there. And so I've got those with the red color kit. to each of the little collaged pens I have added um, some letters just some alphas that I had these are wood ones by Pink Pigsley um, or some by American Crafts and um, I want to really glitter them up see I've already kind of done this one so it looks a little more blingy so um, what I'm going to do is I am going to spray it with a spray adhesive. Do this in a well ventilated area. Please do not pass out. Then I'm going to sprinkle on glitter. Now of course anyone who touches it is going to have glitter everywhere but hey totally okay by me. Now we have some Goshi really awesome clothespins and we could use them for my banner which you'll see at the end here or just use them um, for everyday uses well maybe for like paper holding papers and that type of thing um, maybe not for your clothes I think that might be a mistake.